warum ist die Existenz eines Phänomens immer noch umstritten, das seit 60 Jahren diskutiert wird. Das kann doch nicht sein. Man muss doch nach 60 Jahren eigentlich festgestellt haben, ob es das Phänomen gibt oder nicht. Da kann man doch nicht mehr drum streiten. We'll have a chance to build a new world. Es gibt natürlich immer wieder Fragen, die ganz klare Botschaften beinhalten. Eine Antwort, die sehr starke Züge von menschlichen Vorstellungen des First Contact beinhaltet. Wir können den mit, unseren, mit all unseren Sinnen erleben und gleichzeitig führt uns das Phänomen an die Grenze ähm, dessen, was wir verstehen können. Ich gehe davon aus, dass äh, in diesen alten Hochkulturen viele Wissenschaften noch weiterentwickelt waren, als die es heute sind und dass dieses Wissen tatsächlich verloren gegangen ist. Es gibt also historische Hinweise in den vedischen Überlieferungen darauf, dass dieses Wissen vor 30.000, 40 40.000 Jahren durch eine globale Katastrophe tatsächlich im großen Stil verloren gegangen ist. Und als die dann wieder hervorkamen, haben sie dieses Wissen wieder zusammengetragen. Aber es ging ihnen um das essentielle Wissen. Es gibt so viele Sachen, die wir bis jetzt noch gar nicht bedacht haben. Unser ganzes Weltbild, die ganze Grundlage, auf der wir Politik machen und unsere Gesellschaft läuft, ist unvollständig. Überlegen Sie mal, Milliarden Jahre hat uns die Evolution durchgeschleift und jetzt erkennen wir, dass wir nicht die Krone der Schöpfung sind. Und natürlich fällt es einigen Leuten schwer, das zu akzeptieren. Da hängt viel Macht dran, da hängt viel Geld dran und so weiter. Aber sind Sie nicht auch neugierig, was wir von denen lernen könnten? Es ist Zeit, dass wir das nicht länger ignorieren. Es ist Zeit, dass wir das ernst nehmen. We are essentially at a point, at a time, where many things are going to change. And they're going to change for the better. And one of those things, one of those ideas that's going to change, those paradigms, is the idea that humanity is alone. Humanity has always believed it is alone, has appeared to be alone, and that is mostly because the other cultures have remained invisible. Invisible to our eyes, invisible to our thoughts, invisible to our feelings. And that is also because humans have been afraid to feel. They have been so inundated with fear, terrorism, inauguration, economic crises, financial collapses, threats from foreign neighbors, nuclear war threats. Humans, humanity is so inundated with this stuff that they never get a chance to feel. Their feelings are blocked. And anything that's controversial is not discussed. And anything invisible is not contemplated. The idea that advanced cultures, billions, billions of years ahead, uh, technologically, culturally, spiritually, ahead of humanity, do exist, they are certainly not going to simply present themselves in a very primitive form. They are going to communicate in subtle, innocuous, unobvious ways. For only those who are ready, those who are feeling and aware, can perceive them. But as society is becoming more and more awakened, more and more aware, 
And you're seeing this more and more. People are actually getting in touch with their inner self, listening to the inner voice, instead of being blinded by the the fear campaign, the delay campaign, the wait till 2012 and everything's going to be all right campaign. These are all lies. <laughs> They're all lies. And we've got to stop believing that. So to how to connect with an interstellar culture, how to connect with a billion year old, a billion year advanced culture. You have to quiet in your life, you have to calm down, you have to accept that those thoughts coming into your head are coming from somewhere. You have to qualify your feeling. You have to say, I, I have feelings. <laughs> I can feel, right? You have to validate that. And you have to see the small miracles. You have to see the attempts. You have to see the attempts that, that these cultures are making. My efforts have largely been unnoticed. Even in the expert community, right? Just maybe I'm too obvious to people. It looks too obvious, right? The more advanced the technology becomes, the more obvious it becomes. The most advanced technology in the world, the most advanced technology in the world is obviousness, <laughs> right? They're invisible to us because we take it for granted, because we are so focused on the, the economic crisis. Well, economic crisis are manufactured. They're manufactured by a bunch of rich, stubborn folk who want to rule the world. So we don't listen to these people 100% of the time. We make enough money to pay our mortgage and stay happy, but we're not going to take them 100% serious. Because if it's not economic crisis, it's a threat of war. If it's not a threat of war, it's a it's an epidemic, it's a disease, it's a new disorder, it's a it's a national vaccination program in order to counteract blah blah blah. So it's a distraction and delay.